following Christ's example, um, every Christian is called to follow Christ's example. And Jesus said, I have come to be among you uh, as one who serves. He asked the question, who is the greater, the one who reclines at table or the one who serves? He said, the one who reclines at table is greater, but I am among you as one who serves. And so that example then is uh, in addressing the physical needs of people and loving our neighbor. Um, and we see that that in and of itself exemplifies God's grace and God's mercy. Uh, sometimes I get a little bit um, uh, concerned when we use the term mercy ministry, for example, because it can communicate that uh, ministry to the poor or ministering in, in to meet material needs is somehow something extra that we do. But really it's essential part of gospel ministry of demonstrating God's mercy to one another. We see in uh, Paul as he uh, sought to gather funds to minister to the churches in Judea who were suffering from famine. He said, Christ who was rich became poor that we might be made rich in Him. So he uses a, a gospel story, he uses the telling of the gospel story to motivate their action to relieve famine, to relieve poverty. So we see that Meeting material needs is something that is really essential to demonstrating God's mercy. At the same time, I think we can go kind of the other way and we can fail to share with those that we're ministering to that we're doing this in Christ's name, that we're doing this because of what Christ has done for us. And so I think there comes a time in our relationship with those that we're ministering to where we get explicit and we say, um, this is because of Christ's love for me, that I am sharing His love with you. So I think evangelism and social action or, or teaching the gospel in word and doing the gospel in deed really come together. You need both, and both word and deed need to be there for faithful gospel witness.